Hi boys and girls, I'm going to share the story with you called The Adventures of Max the Minnow, where Max learns to that being himself is a good thing to be. Here it goes. There was a school of minnows once that lived within some cracks. The quickest and most clever one of all of them was Max. Each day he watched the big fish play and slowly shook his head. Now why do they have all the fun, the tiny, tiny middle said. So he saddled up his seahorse, Sam, and said to all he knew, I'm off to ask the others how to be a big fish too. His friends all cried, you're crazy, Max. The food chain starts with us. But Max was bigger fish to find and questions to discuss. There's Max. There he goes. He went and asked the hippest fish that he had ever met, a manta ray named Morris A., who led a jazz quartet. I digs what you was asking me, but one thing I don't figure, why you don't groove the way you be, no smaller or no bigger. Amongst a school of blowfish, Max's question was the same. Before his eyes, they grew in size and made a boastful claim. We're brave and bold and big and bad, a danger we all scoff. And on and on they went until a guppy scared them off. Maybe I'd better puff up too, Max told his seahorse Sam. If I can't be big naturally, I'll eat until I am. He swam right into sawfish malts, in the finest in the sea, and chugged down seven plankton shakes as quickly as could be. The turtles on the pizza cove could not believe their eyes. Anchovies were the only things that Max left off his pies. The octopus at Noodle Hut was equally impressed. He needed all eight tentacles to keep up with his guest. You see Max, he's getting bigger and bigger. And yes, he grew, that much was true, but mostly he got fat. When clownfish classes passed him by, poor Max was snickered at. When I get bigger, they won't laugh. I'll show them I'm a winner. But then he spied a distant sign that spelled out Sharky's Dinner. He swam right into Sharky's lair, and though no place looked finer, he told the shark his sign was wrong, that dinner should be diner. Ah, contraire, the sly shark grinned. The diners are my dinner. That's why I'm pleased that you've stopped in and thrilled that you're not thinner. Uh-oh. Now what's Max going to do? Max flipped around and swam away as fast as he could go. But all the food he'd swallowed down had made him far too slow. But as he fled, it dawned on Max that brains mean more than balk. And quick as that, he found a crack within the sunken hulk. He slipped right through, but not the shark, who crashed and gave a yell. I hope, said Max, you've learned respect and also how to spell. Now Max has learned, as you should too, that big fish aren't just made. It's what you do with what you've got that helps you make the grade. And Max was lost the weight he gained, as you and I can witness, for he's become the biggest fish in underwater fitness. 
So Max learned a good lesson in this story. He learned that you need to be proud of what you have. And that's the end.